yes, we, we have really revamped the look of the front of the building. Oddly enough, how it looks now is remarkably similar to how it looked originally. Um, we have not um, done anything to our heritage terrazzo floor. It is still intact. Um, however, we've moved the box office back to its original location. This space here um, is where the box office originally stood. And there, it would have been a glassed in enclosure back in, in the day. Um, when they were doing the renovations, we could even see some of the original tin up above where it would where it had been, have been uh, positioned. Uh, so we know it was here. We have kept um, our entrance to the auditorium in the same location, but we've added a crucial feature. Uh, these two sets of doors here um, function as what's called a light lock. So if we have these sets of doors closed, um, as we do for every show, um, we also close these second set of doors and turn the lights off, creating a dark space in between. If we have latecomers, if we have people who have to get up to go to the washroom during a show whatsoever, anybody who has to go either in or out of the auditorium during a show, they can come, if they're coming from the lobby, come in to the light lock, close the doors behind them, and then enter the auditorium. Or previously enter the auditorium, close the doors, and then go out in the light. Uh, what this has done is this has created a much less obtrusive way for uh, for patrons to get in and out of the theater during a show. Uh, this is something that has it, some performers feel very strongly about. Um, some performers really, really have difficulty if there's those sort of distractions going on in performance. Uh, but it's also increased the comfort and enjoyment of all patrons because now you don't see this flash of light coming into the auditorium when the when the door is opened. So uh, it's it's a little thing, it's a subtle thing, but it makes a big difference. Um, this is one of the areas that uh, I'm really happy about. Um, like the rest of the building, it is fully accessible. So uh, people with mobility devices are easily able to access the concession area. Um, it is a little smaller than what we had, but again, it's a much more effective use of space. Uh, the concession is uh, where our volunteers um, sell drinks and cookies and chocolate bars, etc., uh, before shows and at intermission. That money that they raise after they pay their, their expenses of purchasing the, the product uh, goes back into the theater. And uh, the volunteers over the past 15 years have raised in excess of $40,000 for the theater. Uh, so it really does make a difference. We, do, we don't have um, an equipment replacement budget. I can't, if something breaks, I don't have a way to go and fix it. I have the volunteers. So they are really, really uh, an important part of what we do here. And I take every opportunity to, to you know, sing their praises and, uh, and to really encourage people to come out and support them. The best way to do it is always to go to our website, fergusgrandtheater.ca and then click on volunteer opportunities. However, uh, it's always easy just to come on in, say hi, uh, pick up an application form, and uh, they can uh, they can find out more information there uh, and talk to some of our volunteers. Chances are, if you come in, there will be a volunteer at the box office and they can tell you all about uh, what it is like to volunteer for a show here. Mm -hmm.